The Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're back, main studio guest, former Governor Kyle Guterres. Uh, Governor, <clears throat> prior to going to break, we were talking, of course, about befriending uh, the folks in Congress and, uh, of course, Donald Trump. Now, should you be elected governor in 2018, you'll be, you'll be Donald Trump. I don't think you'll be impeached. I mean, although there's some yeah. movement, Donald Trump will be the, the, the president of the United States. Now, there's a likelihood that they might maintain both the House and, and, and the Senate. So you're going to be <clears throat> a Democrat governor going into, again, facing a Republican, well, is he Republican? <laughs> Republican Trump and both both houses as being Republicans. Although it doesn't, they don't sound very Republican anymore. Your thoughts? Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I'm telling you that that really uh, Guam Guam is in a different category mm -hmm. on how to be able to get in to to let people know what Guam is all about. Mm -hmm. I was watching a um, uh, uh, a piece last night from RT. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. Russian mm -hmm. Today. Yeah, they did a really marvelous piece about Guam and how much attention Guam has gotten now because of North Korea. And mm -hmm. that they focus in on the people that are saying, hey, you are, you are not putting Guam into a representative democracy. <coughs> you know, because right now the, the, you, you have uh, laws that are being made uh, that govern our lives here mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. have no say so in it. <coughs> so we need to tell that story and go into an embarrassing kind of a mode with the national media. Mm -hmm. So people will stand up in Washington. I think they start to stand up that there was even a Guam out here. Mm -hmm. And get in there and say, listen, I mean, the whole United States was founded under this, you know, uh, mm -hmm. no, rep uh, no taxation without no representation. representation. Well, right mm -hmm. now, we, are, we have no meaningful participation mm -hmm. in all the laws that govern us. Mm -hmm. Because I don't believe, as they do over there in, in the Congress, that one size fits all. Mm -hmm. It does not. What you do there that might be good for Arizona is not good for Guam. Mm -hmm. And the same sure. thing as, you know, those laws that, that did the example for the Jones Act, mm -hmm. instead of making another law that guaranteed us shipping, sure. they just wrapped us in sure. to this whole thing. But let me, let me ask you this, <clears throat> because I've said this in the, in the beginning. The military build up back, and I think it was 2006 or maybe a year before that, 2006, we had, a, we had an opportunity. You weren't governor at, at the no. time, but we had an opportunity to really advance some of our causes or yes. some of our issues. We, we had an opportunity because there was a need by the federal government and we have a need as well. That train has left the station, yeah. Yeah. left the station. <clears throat> we have very little to maybe even know, I mean, a lot of the contracts have already been signed. I mean, there, there's protesting the Latexon and all that and they're saying basically yeah. that that's a done deal. It's, it's not, <clears throat> it's not gonna be stalled in any way, shape or form. But that being said, that train has left the station. So. <clears throat> Should you become governor in 2018, what negotiating power you have, other than maybe just friendship? Listen, you know, peace doesn't <clears throat> end because, mm -hmm. uh, because they've already moved forward with using mm -hmm. the firing mm -hmm. range, for example. Sure. Peace doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want really real long-term peace, sit down and let's talk about what you just did in taking that land up there from the people, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, or even between now, I don't know when they're going to start bulldozing and all that. But somebody, yeah, we missed that. We missed mm -hmm. that boat. You know, mm -hmm. when when at that time we mm -hmm. need to step in and say, you really want this thing? You got to start giving us back exactly the the, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. you know what we deserve here mm -hmm. in Guam mm -hmm. and not uh, not not to be ignored. Sure, sure. But there's it doesn't end because they they build the the the. Uh, for example, the firing range. Mm -hmm. There's other properties there that the Fish and Wildlife said they would never ever give up for Fish and Wildlife, mm -hmm. yet military took it. Mm -hmm. There's still some left over there. If you cannot give it to those people that own the land that you have, mm -hmm. the firing range, mm -hmm. figure out how to give them some back from the, the, the rest of the Fish and Wildlife. There are other ways to do it because they're not gonna stop protesting mm -hmm. because the firing range is, is active. Sure, sure. You know, they, they want the mission to go forward unimpeded. <laughs> So that's where they want, they're smart enough to know that, that let's have a peaceful community. That's why they're leaving Okinawa, because they're, they're having these protests and, and it's not, it's, the mission is mm -hmm. being impeded. Mm -hmm. So they want peace and, and the way to have peace is to make sure that they step in and, you know, federal, tell the federal government, get rid of the fish and wildlife there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they protected the, the, the Panihi and the Ajuzu over there, but yet we just bulldozed it all down. So it's a really, you know, it's a fallacy. <laughs> they used it for the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a fallacy. That's yeah, not, yeah. They don't care about, you know, protecting one koku up there. They just want to hold on to the property. Sure. And they sure. held it long enough to be able to make this move to there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Governor, we live in a new reality now, okay? A new reality. We said earlier, of course, 
numbers of tourists, uh, mostly uh, schools have, have canceled trips to, to Guam because of the threat. And it's, it's not really, uh, again, that Guam is not prepared or is not a, a safe place. It's just as families want to be closer in the, should a threat happen, you know? Mm -hmm. And these threats that are, that are happening to us, the missiles that are aiming at us, they're also aiming at our allies. And, you know, in Japan, in South Korea, and all that. How do we combat this new reality of these nukes that are facing us right now? And in our tourism, tourism numbers, that, that's our real deal. And are we, are we prepared? I mean, are we prepared? We, we have prepared in regards to, we've hardened our buildings for typhoons, so we know how to do typhoons now, mm -hmm. okay? We know mm -hmm. how to do typhoons. Uh, I think we know how to do earthquakes as well, okay? Mm -hmm. But we don't quite know this new reality in Guam. Your thoughts? Well, you know, the Korea, South Korea, mm -hmm. Japan, okay? Mm -hmm. those, those guys can be easily scared, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, so, I, as I was stating, that don't put all our eggs in this, this, sure. this market, sure. right? Mm -hmm. Now, when, when, when I say, was, you know, part of what we're dealing with with the military, where, when we sit down, because I've dealt with them before on Tijan. Let's say, for example, we've been trying, I've been trying, certainly, to try to get this visa waiver program mm -hmm. to the Philippines, mm -hmm. okay? There are others around there. The Philippines is a great market for us. The Guam All right, this should waiver, be a trade-off yeah. for mm -hmm. us. Listen, mm -hmm. Korea is going to start getting scared in Japan, so we need a bigger market. So let's, mm -hmm. let's lift the, or figure out how to, to do a better Philippine visa waiver program with mm -hmm. us. These are things that you do a sit and trade, trade off. Because you cannot, you cannot ask the federal government to, you know, to calm things down for the Japanese or the Koreans. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. Taiwan right now, I mean, something could scare them again, and then we're, we're left with all these hotels, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. as Saipan once was, sure, and then sure. they had to go to the, the worst kind of, uh, mm -hmm. of a tourism economy, and that's, that's the casino gambling. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we don't know how long that's going to be before mm -hmm. they lock everybody sure, up. Sure. Mm. So, so, so you're, ba you're basically saying the, the, the base of our tourists at this point are easily scared off, um, uh, and so we need a more entrenched uh, uh, tourist base. We need yeah. more people to, 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 mm -hmm. to, from other places to, mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. to, you, you know, uh, and I know that the airlines right now, uh, they've got us by the yin yang because they're, <laughs> you know, they, they, people just don't travel that far from, from California, for example, to come on vacation in Guam, which we could. They could I, start I, know, promoting. I know that airline flight. That flight. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know that airline flight, Governor. <laughs> now, let me ask this. Again, should the people of Guam elect you in 2018, you're going to be dealing, if you're talking about Philippine visa waiver, not only with the State Department, U.S. State Department, you're going to be dealing with uh, uh, the new president over there, uh, Duterte. Do you know uh, President Duterte? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I had dinner with him in his home mm -hmm. with Senator Mpinko. Uh, when he first became uh, mayor mm -hmm. of, okay. of uh, Davao. Uh, Davao. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I knew him. I uh, mm -hmm. haven't seen mm -hmm. him except one, one time after that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, uh, he, he's like Trump, right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so he, he's the one that said, you know, why they're going to stop giving us visa waivers, the U.S., mm -hmm. because we let you guys come in without a visa, and why won't you let us come in without visa? I mean, that's very simplistic, but that's true. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's different now than the Philippines was in mm -hmm. 1950, mm -hmm. 60, and 70. Mm -hmm. uh, they're affluent now. They're mm -hmm. big middle class. They're 38% right now in mm -hmm. the middle class. You, you know, Governor, I think before the Torte, before there were Trump, there was a Carl Guterres. <laughs> 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 oh, no, really, when, 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 you, when, you, when you look at the Trump and, 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 and why he was elected, when you look at the Torte and why he was elected, he was not that... You are a polished politician, but in, in, in the, the quarters of republicanism and, and all that, they weren't polished politicians. They said it as it was, and they moved ahead. They said, the people elected me to do this job, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So, like I said, before Trump, before the Torque, there was Carl Guterres. I, I, yeah, and, and the thing about it is that you, that you do what you say you're going to mm -hmm, do, mm -hmm. or try, try hard to get it accomplished. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't know this, too, but 1950, we got our Organic Act. Mm -hmm. At that time, just before the Organic Act, we had the Navy News. That was our newspaper. Mm, okay. Right after we became Organic Act, they sold it to Joseph Flores. It became the Guam Daily News. News. Yeah. Okay. But they didn't leave us there and say, okay, now you're in charge of your media. They put PIA, ONI personnel running the newspaper so that they make sure that they keep us brainwashed the way the mission can be carried forward. 
It was locally owned, but it was their news. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the way it was. They got caught in the uh, 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 in uh, in Chuk wiretapping the you know Mangafail, you know the this, the Solomon Report. Ever yeah. read that? Yeah. They're negotiating <laughs> for the for the compact. And they were taping this guy that was just chewing this betel nut and eating his eggs at that time, wiretapping him. There we go. I mean, this guy, <laughs> is, it's their life. That's what mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, the media here, if we're going to do anything, the media. I know KUAM is, is local, but the PDN and, and other media, organs, BNC, they got to come together and, and, and be part of the vision that we're going to move forward for Guam. Governor, don't label us fake media, okay? No. Fake news, okay? Because no. we're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, don't get caught in it. <laughs> Governor, I got to take a quick break. Okay? I got to right. pay some bills. We'll come back. We'll be right back.